of resorts, but it's beautiful because it has a beautiful beach. You can do beach walks every day. It still has that little bit of city, so you can, you know, do your favorite shopping, restaurants, cafes, all of that. And there's just like beautiful homes here, and it really has that like best of both worlds. Uahin seems to be a place that a lot of people are choosing to live out of all of Thailand because it's really a great home base and you're not too far to go anywhere in Thailand. Also another thing is Huahin stays the most dry out of all of Thailand. So if you're looking for a place to avoid rainy season and a place that doesn't get too crazy hot, Huahin is your place. about 800 baht for two and that's because we decided to take the boat over here instead of walking if you decide to walk it's about a two kilometer walk and it would only be 400 baht for two be prepared to do a lot of steps because it's a lot of steep steps up the mountain sandals and it was brutal. We'd also recommend that you don't really go to the most immediate restaurants as soon as you get off the boat or finish the hike. They're um, not the most reputable and so a little outside of the area where the cave is and of course after you leave the parking lot there's this nice restaurant called Cafe Chai Klong. I, I may have just totally butchered that but we'll make sure to drop the ping. Um, really good Thai food. Uh, it's all in Thai, but they were very friendly and helped us translate the message, uh, the items on the menu. So let's see how it tastes. So far, papaya salad. Talk about papaya salad and your obsession. I would say, besides pad Thai, and actually, three things that I've become obsessed with is cashew chicken. I've always been obsessed with pad Thai and papaya salad. I think papaya salad is so healthy and fresh and I'm obsessed. I want to learn how to make all three. Yes. place we really recommend is the local night market. This was the one that was right by our place and we went here so many times. It is not only cheaper than all the supermarkets by so much money, but you're supporting locals which is just amazing and the food is so beyond fresh and there's so many different options from fruit to veggies to meat to seafood, all the sauces you need, everything you can think of. So we've been going to this cafe called 22 Cafe and we highly recommend it. It's not really like 
on the main road, but it's worth taking a little extra few minutes to go to. It is beautiful inside and the drinks are absolutely amazing and really great Wi-Fi. Probably the best Wi-Fi of all the cafes. Sometimes it seems small and sometimes it seems big. Something we'd suggest you guys doing is getting out there and roaming the streets. Just like we would anywhere in Thailand. But Hu Hin just has a very small, local, coastal feel to it. And some streets have very local things and then you have some streets that have some relatively newer type of establishment. So it's a really nice mix of both. We'd highly suggest getting lost in the streets. End up in the beach, have a couple hours at the beach, and uh, then just venturing off and see where it takes you. Molly Cafe is another one that was one of our favorites. We went here at least two times. It is kind of off the beaten path, a little bit hidden, but it's worth it. It's so cute. They have amazing desserts. Look at all, all these options and their coffee is really great. We love specialty coffee places, so this little place was special to us and highly recommended. We are at another one of our favorite restaurants. We kind of just tuck down as soon as we find good places. Bad habit, but it also assures a good meal at the end of the day. Um, it's on Soy 102. That's as much as I can tell you at the time. I cannot pronounce its name, but it is extremely good, extremely cheap. It has been such a mind-blowing experience when we get as much food as we get, and then we get the bill, and it's like 200 baht. Uh, best prices we've seen so far with the best food. Um, cashew chicken, pad thai, deep fried spring roll, all the good stuff. Come to this spot, really cool local place, and always really good food. Amazing service. It's like the whole family that works here, so check it out. This this name. This this name. This is one of the night markets in Hua Hin. There are so many. This one is a little bit more, I think, catered to tourists but it was really good and it's really nice too because they have everything in English so everybody can understand what each little seller is selling. But they have so many good food options. We would come here and just get a bunch of things and try out. This was the Korean fried chicken. This was probably the best option there, but we would always get the pad thai and the hot dog and we got these pancakes also so eat your heart out here at this night market all right so we have finished a little too much food but a good rule of thumb is when you're looking around at the restaurants to really determine what's good what's not rule of thumb it's not always the case but is the restaurant busy is it packed usually restaurants get busy around 7 p.m so if you see a restaurant full at that time it's always good to come back and try it out a lot of the local places are some of the best food. The spot that we're gonna pin here has been one of our most favorite, nice, local, cheap food. We've come here just about every day and indulged on some amazing Thai cuisine. Definitely a place where a lot of people go and tend to do their Instagram photos, so be ready for that. But it's beautiful, they have Wi-Fi, it was a great place to work at, and it's right along the water, so you can take a break and go walk on the beach, or sit on the little sandbags on the 
overlooking the water and you have the perfect little spot. So it's a really great place to work at and enjoy some coffee at. So Nico bought a skateboard. I told him he needed a hobby <laughs> and he loves skateboarding. So he finally did it after all the places we've been to. Let's see him go. Cafe was one of our favorite places. We came here so many times. We would always do our laundry across the street, but they have really great coffee. They're really nice owners. They have games, so we would always play some Uno, and you'll see people playing games in there. Super relaxed and super great. Highly recommend this cafe. This is our favorite place to get a massage. We highly recommend it. They are amazing here. <laughs> How do you feel? Feel much better. Very relaxed. Very good. <laughs> Finishing off this video with a little tour of our place that we stayed in for the month. This is our patio. We really loved it. It was gorgeous. You could hear the birds chirping every morning. This is what our place looked like from the outside. So super cute. This is the main house pool and another little viewpoint. Really cute little neighborhood and we're grateful for this stay for sure. These are the piggies that live at the temple next door. Super cute. Make sure to subscribe and watch out for the next video.